determine the natural frequency of given system. Let us understand the given diagram. A disc of mass M and radius R is connected to the spring at the center. It is given that the disc is rolling on a fixed surface. And when it is rolling on a fixed surface, we have to find out the natural frequency of the system. So we will first draw the free body diagram for a given system when it is rolling on this fixed surface through a distance x. So if we observe here is the spring with stiffness k and it is connected at the center of this disc. Now we will consider two points that is the center point is the point G and the point on the circumference we will consider this point as a point A. Now when it is rolling on the fixed surface then this center is moving along a horizontal line. So there is the translational motion through a distance x. And what about this point A which is on the circumference? So there is the rotational motion for this point A. Now here when this disc is moving through a distance x then here is the new point at the center. I will show it as a G dash. Now suppose this is the original point A and when it is rolling through an angle theta then we have to show the new point. So I will make here one construction. So here is the angle theta for which this point A is rotated and here is the new location of this point A that is A dash. Now we will again make one construction. We will draw here one perpendicular line on this vertical line passing through this A dash. Now this vertical this horizontal distance so I will make here the point of intersection as a point B so B to A dash is also known as this horizontal distance X so how we can find out this value of X so this theta is very small and this G dash to A dash is radius of this disk that is R so we know that when this theta is very small then we can say that X is equal to R into theta so we can replace this value of x or we can also say theta is equal to x by r. So we can replace this value of theta as a x by r when solving this question. Now to find out the natural frequency we will use the energy method. So we know that this total energy is equal to sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy and which is constant. Now for which points we have to apply the kinetic energy so if we observe here g that is the center point is moving linearly from g to g dash so here is the linear kinetic energy that we have to apply and the point on the circumference is rotated through an angle theta from a to a dash so here rotational kinetic energy we have to apply now what about the potential energy? So potential energy is due to the restoring force in the spring. So when it is moving through a distance x in this direction, in the forward direction, then there is the spring force Fs is there. And if we multiply the spring force with this x, then we will get the potential energy. Now we will put the values. So kinetic energy is equal to translational kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy. Now what is the formula for the kinetic energy? So we know that half mv square. But in terms of displacement we will write v is equal to x dot. And what about the rotational kinetic energy? So half m x dot square. This is for the translational ke. And for rotational ke, we have to convert this as a half. Now instead of m, we will apply the mass moment of inertia of the disk. So I will write here i. 
and here linear instead of linear displacement we will use the angular displacement theta and x dot that's why we will use here as a theta dot square so these two formulas we have to add for total kinetic energy for this system so i will write here kinetic energy half m x dot square plus half i theta dot square which is equal to now instead of theta dot we can replace as a x by r so here theta dot is equal to x dot so i will write half m x dot square plus half i x dot square by r square now potential energy that is half into this fs spring force fs multiplied by x which is equal to now this spring force is equal to so in terms of this stiffness we can write this fs as a kx so here half into kx into x that is half kx square so this is the potential energy so we can write here as a total energy u is equal to half m x dot square plus half i x dot square by r square plus half kx square so which is equal to constant now this total energy u is u varies with respect to time so we will differentiate all this equation with respect to time so which are the variables in this equation so here velocity as well as displacement are the variables with respect to time so we can differentiate this x dot as well as x with respect to time t so how to differentiate this equation so i will write here as a du by dt du by dt is equal to now half m constant so i will write it as it is half m now x dot square so how to differentiate this that is 2x dot into x double dot plus half i by r square is constant so we have to write as it is now here x dot square so we can differentiate this as a 2x dot into x double dot plus half k is constant now how to differentiate this x square that is 2x into x dot and for this constant we will write as a zero because when we differentiate this constant with respect to t then it will become zero now we have to cancel the terms and we have to find out the common term so here half and 2 is getting cancelled and here is also half and 2 is getting cancelled here is also half and 2 is getting cancelled now if we observe x dot is the common term in so if i take this common as a x dot and i will transfer to the right hand side then it will become zero so what is the new equation so new simplified equation we will write m x double dot plus is i by r square x double dot plus kx is equal to 0 now what is this value of i so i is the mass moment of inertia of the disk and i is equal to m r square by 2 so we will put the value of i so m x double dot plus m r square by 2 divided by r square x double dot plus k x is equal to 0 so here r square r square is getting cancelled now here x double dot is also common term so m x double dot plus m by 2 x double dot plus k x is equal to 0 therefore m plus m by 2 bracket complete x double dot plus k x is equal to 0 now again we will simplify this that is m plus m by 2 that is equal to 3 m by 2 x double dot plus k x is equal to 0 now we will divide on both side with the coefficient of this x double dot that is 3 m by 2 so again equation becomes x double dot plus k divided by 3 m by 2 bracket complete x is equal to 0 now if we compare this equation with the x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 then this omega n square is equal to 2k by 3m so omega n is equal to under root of 2k by 3m so we have the formula for the natural frequency in terms of this omega n that is omega n by 2 pi so how we can write 
नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ एन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू पाय अंडर रूट ऑफ टू के बाय थ्री एम सो दिस इज द फॉर्मुला टू फाइंड आउट द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर दिस सिस्टम now there is the question if we reduce the diameter of this disk by 50% then what is the effect on natural frequency now diameter if we observe here formula for fn is in terms of k that is the stiffness and in terms of m that is the mass of the disk so if the diameter is getting reduced by 50% then there is no any effect on the natural frequency of the system 